Hey, everybody, Ann here. Man, it's been a morning. It's actually kind of like, I don't know, almost 11 a.m. right now. It poured down rain all night long, and it was pouring down rain this morning, and I still had to go out and do the chicken chores and whatnot. But luckily, somebody, a very nice person, sent me some rain ponchos. So I've already kind of destroyed a couple of them. <laughs> but my favorite color is what I got left. So I'm going to be real careful with it. But it enabled me to get out and do things. I went around and checked the water. I had to move some water around because one barrel was getting too full and another wasn't collecting very well. And then I had some buckets set up underneath the roof for the specific purpose of capturing more rain. Any, basically any empty vessel that could hold water that I had since I knew we were going to be getting this rain, I put under the eaves of the roof and collected rain so I'm gonna go around here in a minute and check and see how much water I've got you know what sometimes rain can feel like a curse but to me it is a blessing from God because I'm gonna have water and I don't have to water my plants so that's good but I wanted to tell you the last few days I have had more energy I have been less depressed and I've just all around felt better and I have done something different. Margaret sent me this. See that? Uh, Mio Vitamins. It has vitamin B3, B6, B12. And this flavor, orange vanilla, is absolutely delicious. So all you got to do is put it into a little bit of water. And um, you just put one spurt, like in a bottle of water. Mix it up. And it's delicious. And I'm getting my energy back. So what I'm thinking is I have a vitamin deficiency and the B vitamins have helped me tremendously. So I went on Amazon and looked for that spe specific flavor. I can't talk. Orange vanilla. And I could find it, but it was very expensive. So I tried to look for some of the other things that were close to it. And um, I'm going to order some here pretty soon because that stuff is delicious. And it makes me feel better. And so I'm also looking for some with electrolytes in it to add to water. Um... So yeah, thank you, Margaret. You have basically turned this girl around and I feel better, feel happier, feel like I have more strength and I'm sleeping better, which is weird because I'm an insomniac, really. Every night I usually have to take like Benadryl to be able to get to sleep and sometimes that doesn't even work. But the last couple nights I've been getting some good sleep. Anyways, I gotta go look around at the water situation so I'm gonna take you with me. Oh, I also want to thank all of you who has put up with me having this cold sore for the last week. It's disgusting. You don't want to see that. Check this out, you guys. What is that? What is that? Is that a frog egg? It's just going to dry out up here because it was up totally wet earlier. What do you think? Is that a frog egg? What should I do with it? Morning, Romeo. These chickens have been squawking up a storm. I think they want out, don't you? Yeah. It's not supposed to rain again for a while, so I'm going to let them out. I only got five eggs so far, but Roxy laid really late yesterday, so I don't think she's going to lay again today. Roxy, she's been the low hen on the totem pole, if you know what I mean. They've been excluding her. They don't let her roost with the rest of them at night. I feel badly for her because she's such a sweet chicken. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let them out. It's not supposed to rain again for a while, so hopefully they won't go too terribly far. All right, girls. Oh, yeah. They know what's going to happen. Come out, sweet girls and boy. Don't go too far, okay? You guys be good. Oh, I put more water in this. This thing is still working. This fly trap. They keep going in there. Oh, look at those little squirmy things. Gross, man. Look at that. It is more than three quarters full because it doesn't go all the way to the top before it starts emptying. Yeah, it looks schmuggy, but that's okay. I just use it to water the plants. This one here was full, basically full to the brim. And yeah, that's pollen and gross stuff. That's okay. I'm not using this to, you know, bathe with or drink or anything like that unless I filtered it but it's just for watering plants. 
So this wand doesn't capture water as well. I need to get rid of this and do the bungee thing like this because this prevents more water from getting in. So I just transferred some of the water from here to over here um, because I know this one is less efficient and I'm betting the next good rain, this is gonna be completely full and this one is almost full. So what I did first thing is I came out here and started filling up this, this thing with filtered water and then that water I will eventually take inside to the red bucket over my sink and put it in there. Um, I could drink that water. I would feel completely comfortable drinking that water because that filter works really great. But before I drink it, just plain old water and if I'm not cooking with it or boiling it or whatever, I will run it through the Berkey. So let's go around here and see how much water I got. Where's that at? It's full, you guys, it's full. And this is even after I've emptied some of this water out and put it through the water filter to fill that seven gallon tank. So this is basically full. I am very pleased. Every time it rains, I gotta come out here and pull schmung out, pull schmung out from in here too. I did that before night, last night's rain, just so that it work, would work a little bit more efficiently. I gotta replace this tarp because it is leaking underneath. I could capture so much more rainwater, and that's going to be very, very important because I need to keep this thing full. The sun has finally came out, and this is a glorious day. I wish that my days would go like this every day. Rains all night long, a little bit in the morning, and then the sun comes out. You can't ask for anything better than that. See that? I have all those things underneath there, and they were filled with water, and I transfer them from there over to there. So, because I don't like a lot of standing water, if this rain barrel gets full over here, um, then I will use these first to water the plants because like I said, mosquitoes. But the bonus is, is I don't have to water my plants today. Look at that, they're doing great. Plenty of sun comes in this area, but you'll notice, I'm gonna take you over to the tomatoes in my yard over there, they're doing better than these are. I've used the same soil composition and whatnot, pretty much the same soil. Although I, I don't know, these are the hugoculture things. Um, these are doing so good. I think that this area get, actually gets less sun than over off my patio. But still, everything is going pretty darn good. Look at these flowers are coming up. I can't wait till they start blooming. I'll have to thin those sunflowers out because they're going to get big. But everything is just looking gorgeous, except, I don't know. I don't know about this garden bed. Um, I mean, they're doing okay. The squash, maybe it's not time for them to come up yet. It looks like a few of them are starting to flower, but they're still not really flourishing. And it may be because I didn't add enough of the good soil on top. Not just the topsoil, but the soil with fertilizer in it. I have gone and planted borage. Wherever you see, and I put a little marker down there, a white thing that marks just in front of it where I planted borage. And I planted borage in these spots because they're supposed to have beneficial value to the plants growing around them. Plus, you can eat them and they're pretty. Yep, I planted a bunch more borage over there. I've replanted the beefsteak tomatoes because they weren't doing anything and I didn't think they would do anything. But look at this. I had to go through and thin these radishes and I tasted a few of the greens last night and oh, they're delicious right out of the ground. Very delicious. All those carrots are coming up. Remember the size of those other tomato plants? These are from the same tray and these are bigger and they are planted in individual pots. So there's something about this soil or maybe just the sunlight that they get over here. I think that they get more sun over here than they do in the spot where the Hugo Culture Garden bit is. So next year, I'm gonna to have to plant a little bit better uh, and plant plants over there specifically that don't like a lot of sun uh, and just use this area here and all over there for plants that like sun all day long. My wild blackberry plant is starting to flower. Awesome. You can use the leaves for tea and whatnot as well. Look at these. These tomatoes are finally coming up. They are growing fast. Yeah, they'll have to be thinned out, and I will. I will only let, I will probably let only one bunch grow in this bucket, and I'll transplant all the rest and just trim them back and whatnot. But 
this garden is going crazy. It is totally going crazy. I got flowers. I keep tension off of this spinach and it just keeps producing more leaves and the, the chickens absolutely love, love spinach. Lemon balm is doing great. Oh, those are two of Romeo's feathers. They're all yucky now though. Plenty of flowers. Look at that calendula. It's gonna overtake this time. That's all right, it'll, it'll come back. But everything is going really great. I can't wait till the little violas start uh, flowering. This is going to look really, really, really gorgeous. And I'm getting so many flowers now on these. It's just, you know, there's my little fruit. Makes me so happy. I just look around at everything that's growing and how well everything seems to be doing after a rain. The God-given rain. It just, plants seem to grow better with rain coming from the sky. It's a blessing and hopefully this year my garden is gonna be good. I would love to be able to put up a bunch of stuff and can some stuff and have a huge pantry. Hopefully my the insides will be done by then and I'll be able to put up shelves and cabinets and all that kind of stuff so I can have a place to store all my stuff. <sighs> I gotta tell you, this ain't a bad life at all. <coughs> That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.